So, uh, as you know, it's, uh, it's a new company after um, founding and selling NetVibe. I decided to go a little bit away from the web. And let me see if I can get this right. And we launched a little project called Jolly Cloud in June. And so far, uh, you can go on Twitter and, and follow the feedback. Uh, sorry? Oh, sorry. Okay, and I have to be here then. So we started the, the project uh, in June, and we launched this operating system for netbooks. And uh, so far, users have been pretty, uh, uh, pretty intense and really love the product. And what I'd like to do is, we'll do a really quick demo, but come back to the ID and the reason why I came from web aggregators, portals, to, to netbooks. So the, the idea is that a couple years ago, I was in China, and there's this little computer, the EPC, that came out. It's $250. I actually met the guy who did the EPC. He was fired from his previous company because everyone believed it was a good idea, but it would kill the business of laptop. Imagine a computer that is basically, this one costs 300 euros. I do everything with it now. It's extremely powerful. The screen is perfect. The screen is 10 inch. Keyboard is just perfect. Two years after the first EPC, they've been able to release computers that are so cheap, but you can just change from computer to another every two years or every year. It's like a phone, basically. So initially, my idea was to create an organic uh, computer, a computer that is built with recycled component that would cost $150, that would be socially responsible. And I started working with a designer who do things for Muji. So we were thinking about doing this Muji-like computer. Then I discovered that hardware, the word hard was for something because it's extremely complicated to do hardware. It's very complicated to produce computers. And it's a very conservative word. The interesting thing is that while we were thinking about doing the computer, we said maybe we should have a very nice operating system based on Linux using the web, something very smart, but anyone would use and have it very easy to, um, and it came with the idea of Jolly Cloud. So the few things, the few idea with, with an OS from Netbook is that the computer, this computer is my computer for three months. In six months, I will use something else. What I need is to make sure that all the data that I have on this computer follows me. We call that data roaming, hardware roaming. You, you have the ability to switch computer instantly and all the data that you have uh, the, the bookmarks, the Wi-Fi, uh, personal data just follow you. And why can we do that? Simply because everything now is on the cloud or connected at some point to the cloud. So what we're doing with Jolly Cloud is basically making sure that you integrate all your existing services with the cloud, but you can synchronize them on Jolly Cloud. And when you move from a computer to another, and uh, now we see people switching computers at least twice a year. I mean, this is seven computers for the price of my previous value, the one I had when I did my demo uh, three years ago, I could buy seven of these. So it's a very interesting model because what we believe is that the computer is going to be free, it's going to be given away, and that you're going to have the ability to build services, cloud services on the top of it. So uh, I will show you very quickly where we are right now. Uh, by the way, the product is going to be released at the CES. So here is my app store. As you can see, most of the applications that I use are the one I would use on my Mac, Skype, Gmail, VLC, Twitter, Spotify, Chrome. And it's very easy. You just install an application in a click. You remove it in a click. If you want to install a service, let's say Dropbox, online drive, just click and it appears. So we try to put the one-click policy for everything. So basically setting up a computer become a total pleasure. You just don't bother. It's Linux inside, so it's super optimized for the netbooks. It's super optimized for the processing power, for the graphics. But you don't see that. The only thing you see is a very nice interface, very easy to use, very easy to integrate. And I'd like to show you what a few applications. One that I really like, that is the, um, um, the, the project schemer from the New York Times. It fits perfectly the space. And what we're looking at now is to build with partners apps that will completely fit this 10-inch screen, but it's very easy to, uh, uh, to install that are going to be basically relying on the computers. And everything is using the web. All the technology is there. What we're trying to do is to assemble it and make it uh, something compelling, compelling experience. 
So um, I will preview uh, the project in, uh, I think it's in December for the web, and we're launching at CES. So if you have any questions and if you want to have a demo, just come uh, after the show and I will uh, be happy to answer your questions. Thanks. Thanks.